What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Austin Davis here. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be talking about why you should not be focusing on your pricing in your first year in business. Now I understand this might be a touch and go subject, a hot topic, let's say. I understand I might get some people to disagree with me, but hey, look, that's okay. Okay, the point of this channel is to share my opinions. Okay, I'm not some millionaire business person. I've gotten to some point in my life where I do know some things and uh, some things that I've done wrong, some things that have really, really helped me. And that's kind of the point of the channel I wanna share with you guys what has helped me get to this point. Funny enough, I get on a lot of coaching calls, a lot of people want to call me, email me. I see a lot of comments in the comment section. And I, one of the big things I get is Austin, I'm trying to get my pricing right. I'm in my first year in business. I just started, you know, I just got my equipment together. I'm in my first few months. And one thing I'm really focused on is I want to charge a good price. I want to make sure I make money. I want to make sure I provide a high quality service. And I want to make sure I'm paid adequately for that. That's all fine and dandy. I hope you can get to a position where you're able to focus on that. I'm not saying you shouldn't focus on that. Allow me to impress upon you a different theory, a different little state of mind. Okay. If you will, when you're in your first year in business, you don't have any customers, you don't have any Google ratings. You're not ranking on Google for nothing. You barely know anything about pressure washing. Let's be honest here. Frankly, quote unquote, you are nobody. And when it comes to the online spectrum of who's reputable, in this pressure washing in this small business space, okay? Your number one priority should not be pricing. I would impress upon you to say it shouldn't even be your top three priorities. Let me explain. When you're in your first year in business, you should be focusing on landing every single customer that comes across your table. When you're in your first year of business, every single customer that somehow finds your name or contact information, whether you ran a Google ad, a Facebook ad, a yard sign, hey, maybe it was a referral, you are blessed with an opportunity to get out there and grow your small business. And frankly, you have a lot to learn. Let me tell you something that's just as valuable as money or if not more valuable than money, okay? That's gonna be your getting before and after pictures. That's gonna be getting reviews. The only way you get calls, the only way you can rank on Google is if you have reviews. If you don't have reviews, then you know you don't have reviews, okay? So pictures, reviews, the experience, you going out there and actually doing jobs, getting jobs underneath your belt, that's valuable, okay? I understand you gotta make money. You gotta go out there and hustle. You gotta provide for your family. I get that. That's all good and great. And, and you're gonna make money. But if I can just impress upon you, don't be so focused on getting the full price. I know it can be hard when you're seeing me, you're seeing some other channels on YouTube and they're making, you know, $1,500 a day. They're making $600 on a house wash. But look, the reality is, is, you know, when I get a call, even me, and even I know my big competitors, when they get a call, most customers are calling around asking a couple different uh, companies on quotes. So when you're in your first year in business, however you get to lead, they might be price shopping you. Okay. And they know that you are probably just starting out, whether they found you on Google and you have little to no reviews, but you're running a yard sign and they know that they're calling someone who's putting out a yard sign someone who puts out a yard sign is probably in their beginner stages okay people aren't dumb don't try to price gouge these people hell don't even try and charge market prices what i would do if i can go back in my first year in business and you know i have nothing i don't have any rankings my website's not there yet you know i'm in my first year i'm, I'm a young buck still a young buck anyway if i'm in my first year in business and i get a lead i'm so grateful and thankful to get a lead okay i get an opportunity to grow my business and to land a customer okay the conversation goes like this. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I so appreciate you reaching out to me. Okay, look, I want to do the best I can. I want to make sure that I provide a high value service to you guys. I just want to let you guys know something. I am in my first year in business and I'm trying to land every single customer as possible. I'm trying to learn quickly. I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate you giving me an opportunity. Let's do this. Let's take price out of the equation. Allow me just to go over there and just do a fantastic job for you. I understand a service like this might run $400 or $500 on the open market, but hey, look, I'd love to learn. I'd love the opportunity to gain your trust. I'd love the opportunity to keep on servicing you guys in the future. Hey, let's just call it 200 bucks, okay? It's good for you guys. You guys can save some money. You know, take an opportunity on me. Take a shot on me. I get the opportunity to get the pictures that I need to grow my business. Hopefully, you guys, if I do a good job, you can leave me a review and we can continue to do business going forward. That's how I would handle every single customer when I'm first getting started. Because the reality is if you go for the seven, $800, okay, yes, you might land some, but the chances are you're probably going to lose a lot. And when you're in your first year in business, every single customer is so valuable. Just Let's just think about it this guys. If you got 50 people to hit you up in a year and let's say the average closing rate is like 20%. Okay. Okay. That, that, that means you're probably doing 10 or so jobs. Okay. And then maybe you get 
a couple reviews from those 10 jobs because like I said, not too many people, you can get every single customer to leave a review, but some people, some people just don't want to leave a review for whatever reason. If you instead got every single one of those jobs, you had a conversation with every single one of those customers, you, you got face to face with them, knee to knee, had a heart to heart conversation and let them know that, hey, look, I'm in my first year in business and I'm so excited you gave me this call, this opportunity, I won't let you down. I promise you this, if you take a shot on me, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna do the best job I can, I'm gonna bust my ass for you. And hey, if I did a good job, I hope you leave, you leave me a review. Let's just take price out of the equation, okay? If you got every single one of those customers to leave you a review, you know, based just off that conversation alone, you'll be in your first year, after your first year, you'll already have 50 reviews. And when you have 50 reviews, that already puts you in a space where that next year, you're gonna be prime time for you know rankings, Google ads, you're actually gonna be reputable, you're gonna be in the sphere of when people type in pressure washing, you're gonna be there. But what tends to happen is when people don't, they don't focus on getting clients, they're so worried about the price, you know, it might take you a little longer. And this is the conversation I have with a lot of people, you know, when they're just getting started, when they ask me like, oh, what's, what, what's my big advice for someone that's just getting started in the pressure washing business, or what whatever business, okay? You need customers. Not only is the review valuable, the before and after pictures are valuable, the experience valuable, but then you get to put that, that customer in your CRM, you can market to them in the future. That's a customer. Yeah, it might be a cheap customer one time, but hey, look, in the future, that's reoccurring jobs. One of the biggest reasons why I'm so busy this year is because I just focused on getting every single customer that comes across my table, and then I can remarket to them. Okay, I do my do my ringless voicemails and my text messages and my emails. Emails. So, you know, every single year I can count on, you know, 30, 40% of my customers coming back for reoccurring service. And so when you're in your first year, building a, a huge book of business is going to pay huge dividends on the next fall season where gutter cleaning happening or on the spring season where everyone wants to get their house washes and their windows clean. That's valuable. And so when you're so focused on the price uh, jumping right out of the gate, you know, you might miss some work, even if that means you're doing stuff for free. Okay. Look, because like I said, you know, money is great, but man, if you can just get that customer that can either refer you to someone or an opportunity for pictures, reviews, anything, maybe a next door post. Hey, that holds value. And although I, I'm not saying go out there and work for free, but if doing a little patio or doing something for here and there, you know, in your first year is the difference between you landing a customer or not, dude, go out there and do it. So the way I think about this is like when people ask me, you know, what's my advice for someone just getting started? It's like, dude, I need to get you to a point where you're at 50, 60, 70, a hundred reviews the quickest as possible. Because when you're at that point, when you're at a hundred reviews, dude, you got power you have pull you have weight you grab attention okay you're a hundred review pressure washing company on Google and people are gonna call you so it's just like dude how do I get to that point well it's like man maybe the first year don't focus so much on pricing because the reality your first year you're gonna be learning a lot you know focus on getting reviews the pictures gain that experience really dive into this pressure washing thing and learn how to talk to customers learn how to do sales learn how to get a level with somebody okay there's gonna be some things that happen in your first year but you're gonna have a lot of learning to do why don't we just make pricing, maybe the fourth or fifth most important thing. I would say in your first year, the top three or four things that are most important, at least in my point of view, my perspective is going to be getting the customer because the customer is what is the lifeblood of the whole business. I think we can all agree. If you don't have any customers, well then you got nothing. Okay. The customer, the reviews, the reviews are what's going to grab attention on Google. That's what's going to actually make people call you, you know, you having reviews, pictures, referrals, and then yeah, the money aspect, which well, we all need to earn money. You can focus on the money. Maybe that's the fifth most most important thing. That's the quickest way I can tell you, you know, how to get to this level the quickest because you know, you don't want to be out there putting yard signs out for two or three years. You don't want to be doing the flyer thing. You want to grow out of that as quick as possible. And so every single customer that comes across your table, look, Hey man, I just love an opportunity to work for you guys. Okay. Look, let's put money out of the equation. Okay. I'm not really worried about the money. What I would really love to do is just go out there and get those pictures, maybe get an awesome review from you. Cause what that would do is that would really help me and my family grow this business. So let's just call it what hundred, 200 bucks. Obviously, I'm not saying you're going to go out there and do a freaking massive house for $200. It's all relative, right? If you get an opportunity to do a huge house, first off, don't do a huge house if you don't know what you're doing. But if, let's say you know what you're doing. Give them a really, really solid deal. You know, and hey, look, if you can get that one, that'll pay full price, full sticker for it. Of course, if you have those opportunities, take them. Don't let the price steer you out of losing that customer, okay? Because the customer is what's going to, you know, refer you. It's who's going to recommend you and it's going to be in your CRM. By year two, this is where stuff really got the snowball effect starts happening by year two 
you, if you got 100, 150 clients, now you're working with something. Because now like in your first one or two years, you're solely relying off the new lead. But by year one or year two at the end of year one, okay, now you have 50, 60, 70, 100 clients. Now I can start targeting this group of people that have already worked with me. These are people that care about the way their house looks. Okay, these are people that I can reach out to, call, and I can start getting jobs from them. Like, hey, I understand I cleaned your house last spring. Do you need your house clean? Okay, no. Who do you know that does? Or do you have any other properties? Okay, you're building a huge book of business and that's so important when you're in your first year of your business. And some people might think this is the wrong advice. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section if you guys are leveling with me on this one because this is something I've just been thinking about. Frankly, the most important thing is getting you and your family and your business in a position where you are self-sufficient and it's our actual running business. Okay, there's a, plenty of companies out there that are just getting started. What do they do? They do kick off. They give away stuff for free. They give people their product. Hey, try this. Leave me a review. Let me know what you think. Leave it on our Facebook. Post something on Facebook. That's how companies start. They're not going out there and, and hammering people for the $800. That's just not how it works, okay? The most smart companies, they want to go out there. They have Kickstarter campaigns. They want to get the customers into their pipeline so they can remarket to them. And they want to get their product known. They want to get their service known. They want to have people leave reviews and they want feedback, okay? That's what these companies are doing because that's the quickest way for you to grow, okay? The money will come. The money will come. In the position I'm at right now, it took me four years to get here, okay? I'm not saying it will take you four years. I'm not saying it'll take you one year, but it's gonna take you a few years to get to this point. So just go ahead and buckle up, enjoy the journey. Okay, you're gonna get there. Focus on getting every customer. If I can impress upon you uh, one thing on this uh, Sunday night, it's Father's Day. Focus on getting your customers. Those are the lifeblood of your business and that's what's gonna continue to feed your family for the rest of your life. So I hope you all got some really awesome information from this video. If you're not already subscribed, what are y'all doing? Hit the subscribe button down below. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year and that's gonna be it for me. Peace out.